Oxford Heartbeat, presented by its founder and CEO, Katharina Spranger. Imagine taking your car to a mechanic, and when replacing the brake pads, he can only make an educated guess as to which ones will fit. At first, he gets it wrong, so throws them away and tries the next size. They seem okay, but you get into your car knowing there is a 20% chance they will fail, causing a crash. So you cross your fingers that the mechanic made the right choice. That's how vascular surgery works. Today, most common cardiovascular diseases are treated by placing a stent, a small metallic tube, inside the diseased blood vessel. For example, here you see a giant cerebral aneurysm, which is a ballooning of the blood vessel in the middle of the patient's brain. A tiny stent, only a couple of millimeters in diameter, will be placed inside the vessel to provide support and prevent aneurysm from rupturing. Despite the growing popularity of stenting, now performed in over 10 million patients every year, there is a lot of risks and uncertainty associated with these procedures. And the uncertainty comes from two factors. First, there is a wide range of devices available on the market, differing in their shape and form and flexibility, as you can see in the picture. Secondly, everybody is different. Every one of us has a unique structure of blood vessels, just like our fingerprints or retina. In the picture, you see how different the same artery looks like in different people, especially in the presence of the disease. However, there is currently no objective way to choose the best device for a given patient, and decisions are largely made by sight, similar to a mechanic fitting the brake pads by trial and error. If the guesswork is wrong, patients suffer complications like stroke, resulting in every fifth patient having to undergo a second surgery. For Germany, this means 10,000 extra surgeries a year, costing the healthcare system over half a billion euros. To put into perspective, this would be enough to build an entirely new hospital from scratch. I came across this problem during my PhD at Oxford in biomedical engineering. One month into the program, I went to the hospital to see a cardiovascular surgery um, for the first time as part of my training. So there I was in the operating theater. It was freezing cold. The patient was already on the table, but the surgeon was still staring at the blurry black and white two-dimensional x-ray and couldn't decide which device to go for. He was visibly nervous. I mean, these are high-risk procedures. In the brain, half a millimeter in device diameter can make a difference between successful and failed treatment. To me, coming from an engineering background, it was like observing someone still watching a silent black and white movie, while knowing there is not only a possibility to experience sound and the color, but also virtual reality. <clears throat> At Oxford Heartbeat, we believe we can transform medicine with the power of computational technology and take the guesswork out of surgeries. We develop unprecedented technology that helps surgeons choose the best treatment for every patient. In the video, you see the prototype of our brain stenting platform showing surgery preparation for a real patient with cerebral aneurysm. The software in integrates uh, cutting edge image processing and 3D visualization and uses sophisticated mathematical modeling to accurately predict stent behavior inside blood vessels. This gives surgeons crucial information that is not available at the moment. For example, that a particular stent is not going to occlude the vital blood vessel responsible for eyesight, or that it's going to land before the curve without causing a stroke. All essential considerations to avoid complications. Without technology, surgeons can try out different devices at placement in pl and placement positions at no risk, unlimited times, and choose the best one for a patient before going into the operating theater. This will save, <clears throat> this will reduce dangerous complications, waste of expensive stents and surgery duration for 10 million patients every year globally, taking guesswork out of surgery. We received numerous innovation um, awards for our innovation, and we were featured in Forbes as a company striving to change the world and one of the new startups to watch closely. It was also great to be back at Falling Walls. I was here as a PhD student and became the Falling Walls Young Innovator of the Year 2013. 
then went off to finish my PhD, and afterwards did start a company, so that this idea can grow into real change in clinical practice. Our mission is not only to make cardiovascular surgery more accurate and safe in all areas of stenting, but most importantly, we want to bring personalized simulations in the routine clinical practice and make medicine one of the most technologically advanced areas, like space engineering or robotics. We want to give surgeons the best possible support when they're faced with these crucial, life-saving decisions and when we, as patients, need it the most. Thank you.